Hi there guys, welcome back to the Farinet channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can dual mine Casper and Zillica. Okay, so thank you to Raven2G for his comment on can you make a video on mining Casper and Zillica. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you guys exactly how you can go ahead and mine this using Windows using SRB Miner. Okay, so first things first, we're going to need to go ahead and make ourselves a Casper wallet. So go ahead and take yourself over to wallet.caspernet.io and I'll leave a link for everything in the description for you guys so you can go ahead and just copy and paste. Now once you've gone ahead and created yourself a wallet, we're going to need to go ahead and get ourselves a receiving address. So once you've collected your Casper receiving address, what you're going to need to do is go ahead and make sure you grab yourself a Zillica address. For this instance here, I'm using Binance for this. And I'll go ahead and leave a referral link for you guys down in the description if you haven't already signed up to Binance. And then what we're going to also need you to do is go ahead and get yourself a ETHW address. Now what you can do for this is you can use your MetaMask. Okay guys, so now you've gone ahead and you've collected all of the wallet addresses that you're going to need to set this up and start mining this successfully. Let's go ahead and download the miner. So the miner for choice today is SRB Miner. Now as you can see, uh, they recently had an update two weeks ago and it's also improved some um, performance on the Dynex algorithm, so which is absolutely great. Uh, but in today's video we're talking about the Casper and Zillica mining. So let's go ahead and press on download on the 2.23 Windows 64 .zip version. Then once this is downloaded, okay, so once your SRB miner has gone ahead and downloaded for yourself, all you need to do is go ahead and drag and drop this folder onto your desktop. Now, I don't need to do that as I've already got these files on my desktop, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what to do exactly after that. So what you need to do is open up your SRB miner. Now, what I'm going to be doing for you guys is I'm going to be leaving uh, a copy of the bat file in the description for you. So all you guys really need to do is just copy and paste and then go ahead and change the addresses with yours and save the bat file. So this will be the bat file that I'll be sending you guys. So all you need to do is just go ahead and copy this. Assuming that you guys are making a brand new one yourself, go ahead and press text document, put in there Casper, Zill, open that up, paste this in there, go ahead and press save as, and save this as lowercase bat. Let me just close off the current mine operation I've got at the moment, and if we close this and we double click on the Casper and Zill. We should be now successfully mining on Casper and Zill. So remember guys, that when you do mine Casper and Zill, that you're only mining Zill for a fraction of the time and the majority of the time you'll be mining on Casper. Okay, so once you've gone ahead and set up your mining file and you've started successfully mining and sending through some shares, what you need to do is take yourself over to casper.herominers.com and go ahead and paste in your Casper address so you can go ahead and see your results and see exactly how it's been going for yourself. Now I've only got this uh, recently set up, but as you can see here guys, it's already kicking through uh, some accepted shares and it can already show you uh, the estimated earnings. Now I have actually seen the hash rate a little bit higher, we'll be going ahead and tweaking with the other clocks on this so just to show you guys uh, the other clocks that I currently have at the moment they currently uh, I've got about 5% down on the power link which I probably could go down a little so it's like a little bit more on there uh, I have gone up 100 on the core clock and then the memory clock I've also gone up uh, 800 on there as well now we'll be going ahead and tweaking these uh, overclock settings but I just want to go make sure that you guys are aware for my 3090 in Pacific it is a little overheating at this specific moment in time it is full of dust and it does need a bit of a clean out uh, and I will go ahead and get that done as soon as possible so do not worry about the temperature on there but I would also always recommend guys please make sure that you do go ahead and set up the overclock settings for your GPU in Pacific and then when it comes to your Zillica earnings you'll be seeing this over on your Ezil page so what you need to do guys is when you go ahead and set yourself up on here all you need to do is make sure that you put in the ETHW address that you grabbed from your MetaMask that I showed you prior and then make sure you have your Zillica address in there and go ahead and get this set up. I will also throw you guys a little promo link in there for you. Um, it is something where you can earn an ever so slight little bit more uh, on your earnings when you first sign up and it will also potentially help you earn just a little bit more of the Zillica. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you took anything or learned anything from this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.